Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video doing a complete recap of the WWDC that all the new features were revealed today, including iOS 5, Mac OS 10 Lion, and iCloud. Now, I will be giving all of the details of these of iOS 5, and I will be giving all of the details about these services. Now, the first one would be iOS 5. Now, the main features include uh, an overhaul of notifications. Now, a new notification center uh, is now on iOS 5. Now, it is smoothly integrated, and it just looks like it already is on the OS, and it and it is just like, uh, and the notification system is just like Android. Now, the next one would be Newsstand. Now, Newsstand is, is a way to get magazine and newspaper subscriptions. Now, the next one would be Twitter integration. Now, it is also coming to iOS 5. Now, with the sign-in, you can uh, easily tweet and uh, use your camera and photo programs in conjunction with this Twitter integration. Now, the next one would be Safari Reader, which is a new browser feature that will, will present all the text of a, web, of a web page with all of the main features without everything that is around it. Now the next one would be reminders, which is a, which basically reminds you of things, and there also is uh, a camera button right on the lock screen. Now the volume button is also uh, a shutter key for the camera app, and there also is pinch to zoom uh, to the right of the app, and there is many new features like that. Now there also is a new split keyboard feature, which splits the keyboard, so you can easily type with two with two hands. Now the main headline feature would definitely be no more cables required for syncing. Now you finally can wirelessly sync your device uh, to your computer without using cables. Now the next one is another significant novelty which definitely is iMessage. Now it's a messaging service exclusively for iOS users and it comes and it is kind of like BBM for BlackBerry, though it is iMessage for iOS. Now, you'll also be able to send messages, photos, videos, and contacts. Group messaging will also be available, and it works either on Wi-Fi or 3G, and it is main, and it also does use Apple's new push notifications. Now, the biggest innovation of all in iOS 5 would be the way iCloud uses mobile devices. Now, iOS 5 will ship in the fall for the following devices. The iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPad 1, and the iPad 2, the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. Now, uh, the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G have been omitted since it, ne since it can't handle the new iOS softwares. Now, the next thing in this video is Mac OS X Lion has things like multi-touch gestures and full-screen apps, including iPhoto, iMovie, Safari, etc. And plus, there is an all-new mission control, which unifies expose and spaces and the iOS-esque launchpad application launcher. Now, it also does include a new system-wide... This Now, Mac OS X Lion also does include a new system-wide resume feature that lets you pick up exactly where you left off. And there also is a new autosave feature that automatically saves different versions of documents and there also is a new airdrop peer-to-peer -peer file sharing system and a brand new version of mail that finally includes a conversation view. Now, the biggest news about Mac OS X line is that it will only be available in the Mac App Store as a 4 gigabyte dan as a 4 gigabyte download which installs in one place no reboots and it will run you at 29.99 for all authorized Macs. Now it will be available sometime in July but developers can get the latest preview release today. Now the final uh, part of the keynote would be iCloud. Now iCloud uh, is free for all nine cloud apps and mobile me is now replaced by iCloud. Now I, what iCloud does is it stores your content in the cloud and wirelessly pushes it to all your devices. Now it automatically uploads it, stores it, and pushes it to all of your devices. Now, and by automatically, it basically uh, is in addition to everyday content such as purchase music,
iBugs photos and videos device settings and app data that will automatically be backed up over Wi-Fi document Wi-Fi documents in the cloud with will effortlessly sync pages numbers and keynote data between all of your iOS devices and there will be no advertising and and there will be no advertising in the iCloud and calendar mail and contact sync is free for up to 5 gigabytes now also in the store it is and also in store is the new photo stream cloud feature which is essentially a gallery in photos that exists on all of your iOS devices Apple TV and o and OS 10 and even your Windows PCs and syncs through the cloud now now if that isn't enough now Apple has announced an iTunes match as a now Apple has announced a $25 now Apple has announced an iTunes match a $25 per year subs a $25 per year service that scans your iTunes library and populates your iTunes in the cloud account with any of your previously bought and ripped music now Thank you for watching this video on the complete recap of WWDC, which includes iOS 5, Mac OS 10, and iCloud. So please be sure to subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics. And thanks for watching.